Fernando Alonso had one of the most mysterious crashes. Video footage was erased and reports were scary if anything. During the final day of pre-season testing in 2015, Alonso had a slow speed crash in his McLaren. The team said it was caused by gusty winds but Alonso was found unconscious and they airlifted him to a hospital where he spent three days. A journalist stated Alonso woke up speaking Italian and thought he still drove for Ferrari whilst another stated he lost his memory and believed he was 13 years old, taking a whole week before he recovered his memory. Memory. Alonso announced he would be missing the opening race in Australia. For such a minor crash, nothing made sense. But finally, this happened. Former F1 driver Fabrizio Barbazza said he knew from his sources that Alonso was electrocuted. He said Fernando took a 600 watt hit with serious consequences, difficulties focusing and temporary obstruction of the veins. Teams that used Honda powered units threatened to boycott the season opener if they didn't get an answer. Things cooled down once Alonso returned and said it was just a steering issue. But a 